Hey y'all, today I wanna share a pro tip that my shooting mentor shared with me a few years ago. This is something that you don't have to go to the range, you don't have to spend money or ammo to do. All it needs is your time and your imagination. I believe that if you do this uh, maybe once a day or a few times a week, it's gonna really improve your scores. It's gonna help you get through your stages a lot smoother. So stay tuned. So our mind, our imagination is a powerful thing. Every day, people commit uh, murder or they do great things or bad things because their mind has imagined what they're gonna do and they act it out. Um, so this, your, your brain, what's going on in between here is something that's it's a very powerful engine and you guys could use it for good and bad. Um, in this case, we're gonna use it for are good so that we can increase our scores. So uh, today I wanna show you guys a something that I do, I try to do a few times a week, and that's mental rehearsal. So what do I mean by mental rehearsal? Imagine that you're at the range, you're about to go up to stage, being at that stage while you're just sitting down um, in your desk or in your car, um, well, I probably don't recommend you doing this while you're driving because <laughs> you want to be focused on the road. But um, so this is something that's only going to cost your time, um, maybe 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes uh, a day or every few days. And um, so let's get started. So what I like to do is if I'm about to shoot a match, I go through the uh, course of fire if, I'm, if it's available um, or if you can get it online. Uh, you can go through the, ghost, the, the previous course of fire. Uh, the, the more recent, the better, since it's gonna be um, uh, more accurate as far as what you're gonna shoot, um, maybe that week. So this one is the, the course of fire from our last 22 match in Navasota. So what, right before the match, next month, I'm probably gonna go through this and look at the stages that I did not do so well in or stages that I could work on. Uh, for example, in these last two stages, I got a seven. So let's just pick, maybe let's pick uh, stage seven. So what I'm gonna do is, in my mind, I'm gonna rehearse that I'm there in Navasota, um, reading the course of fire. And it's a 10, 10 round stage, 10 points, uh, two minutes part time. Upon start signal, you will build a position on the gate and shoot target D, then C. From each position, you will use all five positions that are painted on the gate. So this course of fire was the cattle gate. It was pretty wobbly, so I ended up using a tripod. Um, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna be doing in my mind is I'm gonna be putting in my, um, my gray ops bag and then using a tripod for stage or let's just pretend I'm just gonna bag it and I'm just gonna use my wee bed bag. So let's just let's just pretend I'm gonna bag it. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an actual dope card as if I'm actually shooting the stage. In this case the first target is gonna be D and then the second target is gonna be C. And I'm gonna put my elevation on the top right for target D is 1.7 and then target C is 3.7. Or some uh, a lot of times, um, if it's a two target um, stage where you have to shoot near far or far near, um, I like to put the hold over on the right side just so I could, um, um, if the target's big enough and if there's enough or if there's not much time, then I could use a hold over to try to be faster. So that's what the orange is. It's my elevation. The parentheses will be my holdover. And then my win for this one, uh, last weekend it was very switchy. If I was getting a, um, if I'm getting a left wind, then I'm gonna put a negative sign. So I'm gonna hold left 0.4. Or if the wind, if I see the mirage switching right to left, then I'm gonna hold 0.3 in the first target. And then at a 10th, 0.4 right. Or if the winds switch back from the left, then uh, I'd probably hold a 0.5. Um, so 
anyways create a dope card as if you're actually um, about to shoot and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I printed out my reticle my impact 3 reticle from Zico and I'm gonna put it side by side and I'm gonna pretend that we're about to um, start shooting so holding my rifle with one hand in the bag and then I have my timer over here two minutes um, I have my dope card on the left side which I usually do or in my arm um, or I put in the left side of the scope and then this is going to be my scope. So in my mind, while I'm sitting down, maybe it's in my car or in my desk or at home, I'm rehearsing in my mind, okay, I have the, get the gun in my hand right now. Station about to start. Um, shoot ready, stand by, engage. So in my mind right now, I'm putting down my bag on the, on the pipe and then putting in my rifle. Um, looking over the rifle right now to look for the target, target D. Uh, racking the bolt forward and I'm scanning for I'm pretending I'm looking for the mirage to try to read the wind right now in my mind It's going right to left. So the most I'm gonna hold is 0.3. I uh, probably won't leave the plate I think the plate in this was like 0.6 wide. I don't remember but it was pretty uh, It was wide enough. So I'm not gonna leave the plate and then pulling the trigger Impact and then I analyze where I impacted. Okay. I impacted um, Dead center Okay, so on the next, um, on the next uh, target, I'm gonna hold over 2.0. So on my Zico, I'm, this gonna be my holdover. And maybe because it's the wind is still right to left, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, hold right just a little bit, just so I could um, compensate for any wind. And then move on to the next position, near far, near far. So basically what I'm doing is I'm training my mind to be there already. Um, you could also do this right before the stage starts. And when you do this, your stage, then the more you do this, I'm not, it's not guaranteed that um, you're gonna clean the stage or it's gonna go smooth, but the more that you do this, the smoother um, it's gonna be for you like on the stage. Um, it's rehearsal is something a lot of Olympians do. Um, for example, skiers, they like to um, visualize in their mind what the terms are gonna look like so that when they go down there, when it's uh, actual time to go down and ski, then they already know in their mind, they have it memorized what, what they're gonna do. So um, you could use your mind as a powerful tool to, to uh, improve your scores. And that's something that you could do at home. You don't have to use ammo. Um, you don't have to spend money. All that it's gonna cost you is your time and your brain. I especially recommend that you mentally rehearse right before the stage. That's what I like to do is right before I shoot a stage, I've already gone through it maybe two, three, four, five times in my mind, just so I could get that um, rep repetition and memorization. Um, that way I'm not fumbling when it comes time and I'm not trying to figure out where the target is and what, what to dial or hold over if you're gonna hold over. Um, I just have a plan in my mind, like this is the win I'm gonna go with for plan A and then if that doesn't work, then I have a plan B or plan C. Just so that you're uh, mentally prepared. I believe that this game is probably more than two thirds mental, maybe like 8% um, mental. And the more that you rehearse, the more that you're gonna minimize your mental mistakes and improve your scores.